Here's another good hub with a slight advantage on one thing. Let me show you what it is. All right, welcome back to my channel. So what we have today is we have a sea of hubs, right? But I wanted to introduce one more. I've done videos on all of these other ones. I've done ones on, obviously, Anchor, which is one of my favorite. I have Lentian, I have iLiking or iKling. I have no idea how to say it. Mokin, you name it. I've done all these different hubs. Vava, you name it. And check out my channel. I, you can go back and check all those hub reviews out. I have tons of them. But today I have a different one. And this one's actually by Link Plus. It's a 5-in-1 Type-C on the end, Type-C port. But it's a 5-in-1 adapter or a hub. And I use it for my MacBook M1 Air here. MacBook Pro, I'm sure it works just fine on as well. It should work on PC and, and stuff like that as well. Chromebook and whatever can plug into that USB-C port there. So again, why do I like this? There's a reason. Uh, and I'm gonna get into that in a second. Before I do though, this, this Link Plus was, you know, was sent to me. I'm going reviewing it for a couple of weeks now. And I really like it. And again, compared to some of these other ones, there's a specific reason why I would choose this one. And it has to be, I'll tell you what it is. And maybe it's good for you, maybe it's not but it is a good hub. So overall, it's about 35 bucks. I'll have links to all these things. I'll have links to their website and also to Amazon if you wanna pick one up. They're five in one. Now it has different ports here. It's got a ethernet port, which is really nice on the, on the end here. That's up to a gigabit per second. Two USB-A ports here that are basically five gigabits per second. And then on the other side, it's got a, 30, uh, a 4K 30 hertz port. And then it has a power delivery port for USB-C. Now that USB-C port, port right here is not going to be data, but it's power delivery. And they're saying between like 80 and 100 watts, and that's what I'm getting different readings on, but it's somewhere in that range. But it does, it, it you know, with power delivery, it can charge the MacBook here air just fine. So now, obviously, I've done a review on this, this Anchor Hub, which I like a lot here. But if you look at it, there's some differences you can see right off the bat. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll have pictures of all this stuff up, close-ups and stuff. There's some differences between these two hubs. And uh, it's pretty clear when you look at them, right? So if the ports are right for you, you gotta pick the right ports, right? The ports have to do what you want it to do. Uh, it's plug and play. Uh, it has, you know, works on all different systems. So I read off the ports, and if those ports are right for you, obviously there's a reason you'd pick this up. And I'm gonna kinda show people what that reason is. Look at all these other ones, and I'll have pictures of these up close. But let's just say you're traveling, and you want a nice, this is aluminum alloy, it's a very well-constructed hub, 35 bucks. You'd pick this up because of the size. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is tiny in the hand. It's actually very light, but it it's, it's feels well made though at the same time. And it matches the MacBook Air almost exactly. So you can probably not see in the right light and stuff, but it is that space gray. It's obviously space gray, not, the, the, not the, just the regular silver. Um, but it matches almost perfectly. I'll have some pictures of that as well. So this Link Plus, I mean, the size of it, is, is both its power and, and its negative, and there's a reason for that. So if you're looking for something where you need a long cord on it, this thing only has about a three inch, three inch cord on it. It's got a USB-C in the connection side over here, but it's got this kind of, you know, it's a, it's a kind of a rubberized cord there, about three inches long. The body of it also is about three inches or so, and it's very thin. So the reason you choose this is because you want something light and portable, and something you can use with your MacBook Air, very elegant, put it in a small case. This is gonna fit very well. It's not gonna add a lot of weight to anything. As long as the ports work for you, this is a good choice. Um, very you know, durable as far as construction. I've tested it also. It does throughput very well. I've tested the 4K30, works very well. I've tested both USB ports, uh, USB-A ports work very well. Ethernet works well. So it works really well with my MacBook Air M1. The one caveat that I saw, one little thing is when you do have a hard drive connected to one of the USB-A ports, and you have a power delivery port connected in here as well, charging your MacBook. When I unplug the power delivery, it some, for some reason, it basically disconnected one of the, the external hard drive. Once I learned that that was the only issue with it, I just didn't do that. I kind of, obviously I would just go ahead and eject the external device and then I would go ahead and unplug the, the power delivery port. So anyways, out of all these ones, like I said, there's a specific reason for all of them. I mean, obviously you have to choose what ports are right for you. And this one has five in one. Obviously if it's a missing a port, like an SD card reader or something that you actually need, it may not be a good choice. But if these ports work for you and you want something to travel very light and that matches perfectly that kind of uh, you know space gray device you have, then this is a really good option. Um, again, Link Plus, 
They make a whole bunch of other things. I'll have links again to their website and stuff. You can just check them out. And I don't do full reviews as far as like trying to talk people into buying things. You look at all my other reviews and all these other switch or you know my, all these other hubs and everything that I've done. I don't like doing that. I like people just telling, hey, this is what's available. This is a company that's putting out this product. You know, it's worked for me fairly good so far, and I just don't want to like you know make the end all and say, hey, you got to go buy this. But if it's right for you, it's right for you. So go ahead and check it out. You can always return things on Amazon and stuff. It's not a big issue if it doesn't work out. But for me, it's worked really well. So I just wanted to kind of. You know, that's basically the video and, and, you know, we'll keep this short because I just want to introduce this product. Um, you know, I get a lot of things that are in and I can feel construction wise and how things kind of feel in the hand and stuff. And it feels really good. Um, you know, I don't haven't had it long enough to tell if it's going to last, you know, 10, 15 years for you. Nothing will. Even one or two years, I haven't had it, obviously. So I can't say that. But, you know, at the end of the day, I got to say, I do like it. It's a great travel companion for me and, you know, something that I would recommend at least trying. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you've tried it, if you've had plus or minuses or whatever. And we'll definitely let people know and get that word out there of all these different devices you can pick up. I hope everything's going good in 2022 for everyone, better than last year. Let's hope the pandemic's going to end soon. We'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.